Unpacking idioms, not worth his salt. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, not worth his salt. This phrase is packed with history and meaning, and understanding it can add a rich layer to your English comprehension. So, let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it effectively in your conversations. The phrase, not worth his salt, is used to describe someone who is not deserving of their pay or position. It suggests that the person is not performing their duties well enough to justify what they are receiving in return. Salt, historically, has been a valuable commodity, and this idiom directly ties a person's value or performance to their worthiness of this essential mineral. Salt has played a crucial role in human civilization for centuries. It was not only essential for preserving food before the invention of refrigeration but also was a symbol of wealth and a critical item of trade. The saying, not worth his salt, originates from the ancient Romans, who sometimes paid soldiers in salt, known as salarium. This is also where the word salary comes from. The idiom reflects the value of salt as a commodity and uses it metaphorically to assess a person's value based on their contributions or performance. To help you understand how to use this idiom, let's look at some examples. The new accountant made so many mistakes this month, he's really not worth his salt. A teacher who cannot inspire their students is not worth his salt. These examples show the idiom used in sentences to express dissatisfaction with someone's performance or abilities in their job or role. When using the idiom, not worth his salt, it's important to remember that it's typically used in negative contexts, often to criticize or express disappointment. It's also worth noting that this phrase is somewhat formal and might be more commonly found in written English or formal spoken English. When in doubt, use it in situations where you're discussing someone's professional abilities or contributions in a more serious tone. We hope this exploration of the idiom, not worth his salt, has been enlightening. Idioms like these enrich our language, adding color and depth to our expressions. Remember, learning idioms is not just about understanding the words, but also about getting a glimpse into the history and culture that shape the language. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the fascinating world of English language learning. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.